really happy to be here in Vancouver today. I would like to begin first by acknowledging the Musqueam Band, whose traditional territory we are on right now. My name is Severin Kulis Suzuki, and yes, I was that 12-year-old who spoke in Rio 16 years ago. And I think that the most striking thing to me now, uh, seeing that video, it's very strange for me to, to watch it. I can't, I can't really handle watching it sometimes. Um, but the, the most striking thing is that a 12-year-old could give that exact same speech today. I've been fighting for sustainability since I was a little kid. And today I'm very happy to be part of the Students for Sustainability Tour. I opened uh, with this, this uh, tape from so many years ago because today I want to go through where we've come during that time and, and talk a little bit about the environmental movement and how now we stand at a very critical, period, critical point in the evolution of this movement. Since I was small, I've learned from the, the people in my family, the people in my life, that if you know that something is wrong, if you care about something, you must speak out about it. And I've definitely learned this from my family. My father, David Suzuki, he was part of this tour. He spoke at nine of the different universities. You all might know him as an environmentalist, but I think that it was his experience as a child during the Second World War when he, him and his family were incarcerated by the Canadian government that really sowed his activist roots. Ever since that time he's had to speak out against prejudice and social injustice. On the other side of my family, my English grandparents, they actually fought during that world war. They were actually younger than I am now. It's hard to imagine what they lived through. And ever since, they have been such strong pacifists, such strong advocates for peace. My mother, Tara Cullis, she has always shown me that there is a heck of a lot that one person can do in the face of injustice. These people have all showed me that there is a lot that one, one can do and there is a lot that one must do. Well, guess what, folks? Brainwashing works. And I have believed that I could personally affect the course of history since I was six years old.